If your security arsenal includes mortise and rim cylinders, stop. You definitely need to see the new generation Kaba Peak's preferred line. As usual, Kaba has stepped up the ante and successfully re-engineered their Peak's preferred mortise and rim cylinders for superb operation. But don't worry, if they run out, they'll make more. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm William Link, and today we're going to take a look at the new generation Kaba Peak's preferred mortise cylinder and rim cylinder. We're going to start out by looking at the visuals, the differences and similarities between these products. Then we're going to look at the improvements that were made for the new generation Peak's preferred cylinders. Then we're going to look at the components that make up these cylinders. We're going to do the math, which is very simple, and then finally we're going to combinate and test the cylinders themselves. So now we need to look at and talk about the new generation. What makes them different? Well, one of the things is how we look at the cylinders from the front. If you look at the face, you will see that the Peaks Preferred says Peaks Preferred right on the face, whereas the older cylinders did not. They said Kaba. These have been re-engineered for quality and ease of assembly. If we look at the back of each, You'll see we have a cam on the mortise, of course, and we have a tailpiece on the rim cylinder. There has been a plug change. We are now using large diameter plugs, which is the same as in the 1099 and 1095 KIKs. The bottom pins also use the J bottom pins in both of these cylinders. And the Peak's new generation mortise and rim cylinders use the same cams, screws, cap finishes, and tail pieces as the Ilco cylinders. The components for both of these cylinders include a spring retainer, which is identical for both, and cam and tail pieces have options that are the same as with Ilco. There are no control chambers in either of these products. We will be using top pins that will be split. The Peak's patented pin chamber includes a bottom pin that is already placed in the cylinder at the factory for both of these products. We will add the top pin and a 7B top pin to fill the remainder of the space. So what we're going to do now is take a look at the component table. We're looking at the mortise and rim cylinder here at the top of the component table. The parts are basically identical with the exception of the screws that go with the mortise cylinder and the screw cap that goes with the rim cylinder. Now we're going to go look at how to combinate these cylinders. So in order to do the math, which is very simple, we first have to do our math on paper. What we have to do here is consider these cylinders are 31 in pin stack. We're talking about the mortise and the rim cylinder. We have what's called a uniform pin stack. That means each chamber must equal 31 and they will be that same height all the way across. Since we are using an A2 SFIC system, we know that we are going to combinate from the back of the cylinder to the front. That means chamber one is at the back going up to chamber six toward the face of the cylinder and the keys are read and gauge the exact same way from tip to bow. Now I've already done the math for you and I'm going to show you how simple it is. Here we have our coded pinning chart for mortise and rim cylinders. Notice that the pin stacks will equal 31 as a total. We are using a large diameter plug. Now we are also using the J bottom pins and we first are going to decide what the pins will be. But even before that, you have to first enter in each of your biddings. What I've done here is I've taken my change key bidding and placed it here in blue. The top master key is in green, and the bidding for the control key for your system is at the top in red. For this particular set of products, we will not need to worry about the control key, but that is the control key for your entire system. The first step is to figure out your bottom pins, then your master pins, and that's very easy. What we do is we look at the change key and the top master key. We look at chamber number one. We see the change key bidding is a five and a three. What you're going to do first is look for the smaller number of the two. Obviously three is the smaller number. That will be your bottom pin. 
Then we look to the difference to the higher number, which is five, and that is a two, and that becomes your master pin. Let's do the same thing in the next chamber, chamber two. We have a nine and a five. Five is your smaller number. That automatically becomes your bottom pin. The difference between five and nine is four. That becomes your master pin. Let's do one more. In chamber three, your larger number is seven, your smaller number is three. So you take your smaller number, that becomes the bottom pin. The difference between three and seven is four. That becomes your master pin. That is how we calculate the bottom and master pin. Remember, we are not using control or buildup pins. What we are going to do is take our top pin and split it because that pin may not exist in the small format kit. So this is how we do it. Our pin stack has to equal 31. So in our first chamber, we have a 3 and a 2 in our plug. That equals 5. So 31 minus 5 gives us 26. That's the balance of what we need to fill that chamber with. So a 26 pin does not exist, so we simply split it as evenly as possible, 13 and 13. Let's go to chamber two. Our plug total is nine. So 31 minus nine leaves a pin stack total remainder of 22. Well, we do not have a 22 top pin, so we break it down into two pins, 11 and 11. And you see we do the same thing for the rest of that cylinder. Now our math is done. We've completed that part. So we're gonna go and set up our components to get ready to combinate. Here we have the Kaba Peaks preferred pin kit for A2 system. Let's take a look at how it's put together. Very simply, the bottom pins are all at the bottom of the kit. We have the J pins in this section here, and we have the A bottom pins for some of our cylinders in this section. All of our wafer pins are here, which are the B pins, and they will run from a 2B up to a 19B. We have our retainers at the side, and we have retainers over here, springs, caps. So everything we need is in the kit itself. What's probably best to do is from the math that we have done is take out the pins that we will need, put them on a pinning mat or a pinning block, and begin uh, to prepare for combinating. I've laid out all of the components on a pin block. You can also use a pin mat, whichever you choose. Let's take a look at the pinning block itself. As you can see, we have the bottom pins in a row, one through six. The master pin and where it says CP for control pin and top pin are both going to be the top pin split for this particular cylinder. We have the patented pin chamber here where it says S. The bottom pin, as you know, is already installed by the factory into the cylinder. We just need to add the top patented pin and a 7B to fill up the remainder of the space. Here are the springs, and over here is the spring cover that we'll be using. Our next step is to fill each chamber fully. I'm going to take a stabilizer tool and put it in one of the chambers just to make sure that the shell and the plug itself are aligned so the pins will fall down evenly. I'm going to start with the bottom pin. Next is the master pin. I'm going to make sure they've fallen down completely into the chamber. They have. Next, a top pin. And the other half of that top pin. Great. Your next step is to go to chamber two. Bottom pin. Master pin. Top pin. Top pin. You're going to complete filling the rest of the chambers in the same fashion you did the first two. As you can see, the pin stacks are all in equal and uniform 31 in pin stack height. The next step would be to put in the springs, and then we're going to test.
One spring popped out, but that's not unusual. We'll just put it back in. The springs are in. The next step is to take your spring cover, place it on top. And now you're gonna test your key. Let's start out with the change key first. Works beautifully. Now your master key. Perfect. All you need to do now is take your staking tool, put it on top. Let's do one final test now that we've sealed the cylinder. Change key works beautifully. Let's get the master key. Beautiful. So, we have successfully combinated and tested a new generation Kaba Peaks preferred mortise cylinder.